For this self-learning video, we begin by describing an idiolect. An idiolect is a person's own language used to speak to oneself. An idiolect has vocabulary items that are unique to an individual. It may also have longer expressions or grammatical constructions that are limited to that person. Language versus dialect. You can think of a language as a communication system with specific grammar, vocabulary and other features. On the other hand, a dialect is a variation within a language. The ethnologue, the de facto standard for information about languages, has a rule that if two people understand 70% or more of what they are saying based on the similarity between their utterances, then they are speaking two dialects of the same language. Note that this has to do with the intrinsic similarity between the two systems, and not on the fact that the speakers have learned each other's language. It's very common for two speakers to understand each other not because of the similarity between their languages but because they have learned each other's language. In the United Kingdom, the following are identified as dialects of English. Received pronunciation, which is the dialect of royalty and official agencies. Cockney, the dialect of people in London's East End. Dorset, a Saxon, Anglo-Cornish, and more than 20 more including dialects in Scotland, Wales, Isle of Man, and others. In America, the following are identified as dialects of English. Ebonic, the dialect of black people. Appalachian, the dialect in the Appalachian mountain range. Boontling, which now has fewer than 100 speakers. Cajun English, the language of people in Louisiana who are of French descent. General American, Midland, Hoytoiter or High Teeter, a very unique dialect along the banks of North Carolina, and many more. In the Philippines, in the Tagalog region, Dialects include Batangas, Laguna, Cavite, Rizal, Metro Manila, Bulacan, Casan, Mindoro, Marinduque, Palawan and others. Bear in mind that these dialects also have sub-dialects of their own. These dialects form what is called an L-simplex. This means that all the speakers of all dialects are able to understand each other when they use their own dialect. On the other hand, in the Philippines. The dialects of a language in the Visayas and Bicol region form what is called an L-complex or a dialect chain. This means that speech communities adjacent to each other can understand each other but may have difficulty in understanding the dialect of the next speech community. In other words, if there are adjacent dialects A, B, C and D, then A and B can understand each other. B and C can understand each other but A and C may have difficulty in understanding each other. And A and D definitely cannot understand each other. What are other definitions of dialects? There are many definitions of the word dialect. Some of them are political. For example, in China, all other Chinese languages are considered dialects of the official language, Mandarin, even when those languages have very little similarity with Mandarin. Another understanding of dialects is that even if they are not 70% mutually intelligible, two systems can be considered dialects of the same language if they have affinity with the same standard dialect of the same language. For instance, Many dialects of Dutch and dialects of German are located near each other. However, speakers of specific dialects identify themselves as speaking a dialect of Dutch while speakers of specific dialects identify themselves as speaking a dialect of German. Dialect differences are neglected by most grammar books. Grammar book writers focus on what they think is the standard language. Realizing this, try to reflect on how you should teach English grammar. Some dialects are more prestigious than others. For instance, a dialect such as found in Bulacan province in the Philippines where many poets come from and is written down in many books and other documents may be considered a prestigious dialect. On the other hand, dialects in another province may be looked down upon because of their unique pronunciation and wording seem strange or even irritating to other speech communities. In Germany, the dialect of German into which Martin Luther translated the Bible became High German. Argo an Argo is a language spoken by a minority that is persecuted or discriminated against or by people who are under pressure from law enforcement such as criminal gangs or rebel groups. The whole point of the creation and use of an Argo is to keep non-group members from understanding group members. A good example of this is gay lingo in the Philippines. An important characteristic of an Argo is that it changes very fast, particularly when the population at large is able to learn a particular language feature such as a vocabulary word. Members immediately change their vocabulary to maintain secrecy or identity. For instance, the phrase just chillin' was used by black people but they abandoned its use when the general population started using it. Gays in the Philippines continue to invent words for themselves that they alone can understand. Also, criminals have a vocabulary all their own. Code switching 
Code switching is when a person changes from one language to another or from one variant into another within a conversation. Intersentential code switching is when a switch happens from one sentence to another. Intersentential code switching is when a switch happens within a sentence. An example of this in the Philippines is when Filipinos speak in Taglish or code switch between Tagalog and English. The sapir whorf Hypothesis The so-called sapir horde Hypothesis states that language determines thought. This is labeled as so-called because it seems that neither Edward Sapir nor Benjamin Whorf actually stated this. However, they point to Native American languages whose words for time are different from those of Europeans. This leads to a different perception of time. Another minority speech community has vocabulary involving absolute directions instead of right and left. Their language helps them think in such a way that they rarely get disoriented. An example of how language determines thought could be the case of Tagalog in which there is a difference between intentional and unintentional. Thus, when two cars collide, the victim would talk in a way that the other car intentionally hit his car while the driver of the other car would talk in a way that he or she seems to have unintentionally and accidentally hit the victim's car. Bilingualism Bilingualism in society refers to a person being able to speak two different languages with enough proficiency to engage in conversation. Additive Bilingualism Additive bilingualism is when learning a second language helps learners develop their first language. This is very beneficial to a learner because this kind of bilingualism has been shown to improve a person's cognitive abilities such as problem solving, phonological awareness, metalinguistic awareness as well as other intellectual and even emotional skills. Subtractive bilingualism On the other hand, subtractive bilingualism is when learning a second language prevents learners from developing their own language. This especially happens when efforts are made to improve the learner's skills in the second language by suppressing the development of the first language. One such case is when learners are forbidden or discouraged from speaking their first language. One evidence of subtractive bilingualism is when learners keep using words from the second language in speaking the first language, called code switching, even when there are existing words in the first language for the words in the second language that are being used. This can actually result in the third kind of bilingualism, semilingualism. Semilingualism Semilingualism is when a speaker speaks two languages but is not very proficient in either language. Such a speaker keeps code switching from one language to another. Such a situation can happen when a child is taught to speak in a language that is not frequently spoken by people in his or her immediate family or community. This is because speaking a different language from the one around them prevents a child from interacting with other people around them. An example is when Filipino parents teach their child to speak English but the parents spend most of their time apart from their child such as when going to work. The people around the child could not speak English and thus there is little interaction between them and the child. These topics and many more show how language plays a crucial role in developing and maintaining a society. Thank you for watching. You may want to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos.